there seems to be a few rumors running around town. One is the mayor of the city. My job is a nonpartisan office. Nonpartisan. So, Mayor Martini and I were requested to host a reception for Harry Reid. And we did. We're also at that time in negotiations. If I get the money, I was told yesterday that we're going to get 125, 35 million for the city of Reno. I'm glad I hosted that reception. But as nonpartisan, I don't have the luxury of picking out who and what when I'm dealing with Washington or any place else. Now, there's a real bad rumor that I endorsed Harry Reid. I will tell you right now, I did not endorse Harry Reid. You can, call, you can call my assistant, Marsha Marks. They asked if I would endorse Harry Reid. I said no, absolutely no. Next thing I know, I'm somewhere and I get a call that I endorse Harry Reid. I said that's bullshit. <laughs> and so when I found out, I found out who the lady was we contact or contacted us. I called her, and then I called Senator Reed in Washington and said, Harry, I did not endorse you. Take me off any list. I've not done that. And so, uh, as I know, they've taken it off. I've requested them. But I figured that, you know, Gino and I have taken a lot of shots <laughs> since we all still a little reception for you. <laughs> but you have to understand what our job is as the mayor of the city. And so we've done what we had to do, but that's it. I did not endorse it. I will not endorse it. And, uh, I'm, you know, life goes on, but that's where it is. And I wanted, I felt when I found out you're having a little party here, I thought nothing better than go face the line. Well, we've, uh, we got stuff yesterday about how the bonding works. We're checking with bonding council how we're doing. They're low interest bonds. Uh, they were, they're things that if we show them a revenue, we get the bond. And so we're working with people. Staff's already been working with uh, the bond council in Las Vegas to see what we do. And we have several major projects that we would be able to get done. One, we could probably diversify our, fire, our police department. We could put police out in the South Valley and the Central and up in the North Valley to, to just decentralize. Eventually, those all could be decentralized so you could get building permits or anything in those different areas, which would make government a lot easier. We are working together. John and I are working together on this committee. Uh, we gave them instructions, uh, correct me, John, if I'm wrong, but last week, or not last week, but three weeks ago, to look at IT, personnel, and purchasing. Those two to be three simple things. Now, when you get into law enforcement, you got a different animal. You got a different animal because of the uh, the type of unions and stuff. Now the legislature, in their wisdom, years ago, gave us collective bargaining and binding arbitration. And I want to tell you something. You, you want to look? And, and I just had a meeting this morning about 40 or 50 people, and they're talking about this and that and how the city's screwing up. I said, wait a minute. Give me the control. Give me the authority. I have no authority. I have no authority. The only thing I can do is tell the people that are arguing with me now, I'm not asking for a pay cut. I didn't ask them to cut their pay. I asked them not to take a pay raise that's built into their contract. That's all I asked for. And they said, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> well, we sent out 92 notices the other day. The 92 people are going to be on the street. And I don't want to do that. I'm not looking forward to that. But when my budget is 75% public safety, some of those people have to go. Now, we have 200 more firemen than North Las Vegas. We have 200 more firemen than Henderson, Nevada. So don't tell me we're not trying to take care of public safety. But somewhere you got to draw a line in the sand. Now, I told my council, we drew a line in the sand. If you're not going to enforce what you said, you're going to back up and waffle. Give them the keys and let's go home. Because they'll be running the show. So we're drawing a line. It's there. Uh, we gave them until the 24th to come back with stuff. 
They still have seven days after that, or six days after that, to come to the table. If not, last day of the month, we'll start laying off people. And that's not what I want to do. Uh, but, you know, I just had a guy yesterday. He wanted, he said, well, I want another 30 days. Well, they've had, they've had two years. <laughs> and they want another 30 days. I said, no way. Absolutely not. Well, then start the layoff. Okay. We'd already sent the notices out, so we're ready to go. But on the same hand, he called back today and said, if, if I need it till the first or the second, would you? I said, as long as you waive the increases for the first and the second. <laughs> so we're verifying with the lawyers that he has the authority to do that. If he does, we'll give him to the first or the second. Other than that, last day of the month, it's goodbye time. There's nothing on it. All my patients that I've run over the years, when I'm on Boomtown, when we ran into bad times and economic times, if you got five days and you got four, next week you got five, next week you got four. Or we all went to four. And you can check with all my employees over the years I've had them. We tried to take care of the employees during the Christmas holidays when it's slow as hell and everything else. But when they put you back up against the wall, I got no choice. I'm not asking them to take a pay cut. I'm asking them not to take the raise. But I want to come and make sure you understand. I'm not endorsing Harry Reid. <laughs> I want you to understand that my job is the nonpartisan mayor. I really have no choice to pick and choose who I meet with, who I discuss things with, and the business I do. I will not refuse to shake somebody's hand or do something because they're of the other party. And so if that's the rule i got to live with, but I just wanted you to know, I want, you want to take a shot at me, I'm giving you here. <laughs> I'm, I'm spread out here bigger than Dallas. So you know. <laughs> yes, ma'am. May I have your permission to publish what you just said? You can publish it. I got nothing wrong with what I said. Yes, 